Well, earlier we discussed this issue with Chris Isike, a professor of African politics and development at the Department of Political Science at the University of Pretoria in South Africa. It will depend uh, greatly on how Africa deals with its key governance questions. So, for example, um, Africa needs to answer the question of whether the state is still fit for purpose because the, the African state or the state in Africa was not designed to be a development machine. And, um, you know, it was designed to be extractive and exploitative. And that also produced a, a notion of governance, which is which is parasitic. And, and that explains the kind of corruption, uh, uh, you know, and misgovernance that we see in the continent. So if these promises are made and we still have our governance challenges, um, they would not be put to, you know, um, a fruitful use. Um, and then also, uh, President Biden has in invited uh, African leaders, uh, as a, uh, you know, as a group. He's speaking to them as a group, although he met um, um, one or two of them, in, uh, you know, individually. But um, uh, Africa needs to be able to, um, uh, you know, uh, approach these kinds of meetings with a common position on on what they want and 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 push for those. Uh, and, and so I think that uh, this is something that the African continent needs to work on to develop common positions. Um, um, it will also help African governments to invest in, you know, in research centers that study superpowers uh, and use the knowledge to develop you know, national and regional you know, policies towards these superpowers. So for example, we can now start talking about Africa-US policy and Africa-China policy instead of US-Africa policy or China-Africa policy, as has always been the case. So um, um, for me, these, the, 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 these are the factors that will determine whether these uh, become impactful uh, or not, because we know that there is a, there is there is there is there is a lot of competition uh, by superpowers in the continent right now, and Africa just needs to be ready.